As tempting as it is to jump into the Jordan Challenge in NBA 2K23 and just recreate all of MJ's greatest moments throughout his career, you're really going to want to sit down and learn the nuances of the triangle offense in order to recreate and, and get the best authentic representation of Michael Jordan in NBA 2K23. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the first two basic options out of the triangle offense. That is out of the low post entry and the pinch post action. In part two, we'll be looking at the corner series and the flash middle series. But for now, let's look at the first two basic options and how we can maximize the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan in NBA 2K. And yes, before we get started, I do expect the freelance to carry over into NBA 2K23. So first, you want to know how to set up your freelance and go to Offensive Settings, go to Freelance, and select the Triangle Freelance out of the menu options right here. From here, you should be good, but if you want to manually set your freelance, tap right on the D-pad, go to the last option, which is your freelance, and then select your freelance by pressing X. So our first option is the low post entry, and if you don't want your center to create, Basically, you want to look at the motion around him. So here, MJ execute the baseline speed cut out of the corner, and that's our first quick hitting option. So before Luke Longley even catches the ball, you can already see MJ cutting down the baseline, and if he's open, just hit him with a quick hitting pass, and that's money. The other option out of here is a split cut out of that low post entry. As you can see here, the wingman cuts to the baseline, and the corner man cuts to the middle. Now, if none of those cutter options are open, the man cutting middle will set a down screen for the low post man on the weak side and you can hit him for a mid-range jumper if he's wide open. So these are one of the rules out of the triangle freelance. Whoever is cutting middle will always set a down screen for the weak side low post man. As you can see here, so neither Jordan nor Rodman is open right here. So you execute that down screen for Pippen and that gives us enough space to hit an open jump shot. And as JerseyMade93 says, you don't want to be tied to the play art. So as you can see here, you also want to be aware of how the defense is playing you and respond to different actions and counters that go out naturally out of the freelance. So out of that down screen, what you'll notice is that Pippen sets a good screen that really hits and catches John Stockton. This forces Jeff Hornacek to help from a curling Ron Harper who's wide open and John Stockton trails and doesn't switch on Pip and basically Pip just fades for an open three. This is not part of the play but basically just reads out of the defense. The next option is the dive option out of that down screen. After Dennis Rodman sets the down screen for Pip, he catches Brian Russell sleeping on the job and basically just dives to the basket for a wide open dunk. And this is one subtle way 2K teaches you which actions are wide open. Brian Russell is so focused on the ball that he loses sight of Dennis Rodman so I basically just hit Rodman with a lead pass to the basket and that's a wide open dunk. Now as a screen setter, you can reject setting the screen entirely if you're open under the basket and that's what we do here with the slip option. So the benefit of the split cut variation is that basically MJ sets a short brush screen for Dennis Rodman right here. It's not an intended screen but he comes in contact with Foster because Foster is trailing Rodman with a wide open lane and John Stockton not willing to commit to help because of Ron Harper, I'm able to finish at the basket. The next option is the ball handler dive cut after the wing entry to the low post man, which sets up a dive cut and alley-oop options at the basket. So the traditional way to start the triangle offense is the ball handler passes to the wing and then the ball handler goes to the court. But we can interrupt that V cut to the corner by making a well-timed pass to the center as Michael Jordan is making his way towards the middle. This interrupts the corner cut and then basically just leads to a finish at the basket. So this is an example of improvised action which you will not see in the play art and takes advantage of my knowledge of player pathing out of their movements in the triangle offense. There is also an option to make the entry pass from the wing directly towards the ball handler if the center isn't in position yet. In both of these clips right here, the center does not clog up the lane and opens up that dive cut by the ball handler to the basket. Now instead of leading MJ towards the basket, you can also just make him post up and the AI knows to create an ISO situation out of this position. Now there's also an opportunity to hit your own center with his own backdoor cut if the opposing center is out of position. The second basic option out of the triangle offense is that pinch post action if the low post entry is denied. You go to the middle and then that will set up a post pinch action from the weak side low post player. So if our first option is denied, and as you can see here, Karl Malone denies Luke Longley, we swing to the middle, and that leads MJ to move up from the weak side low post up to the pinch post. From here, you can set up an isolation situation, and we do that right here by taking Jeff Hornacek to the block and basically hitting him with a shimmy fadeaway. 
So if the offensive player at the pinch post is not much of a threat, you can also set up a curl option from the man in the middle. As you can see right here, MJ curls out of that pinch post and leads to a wide open jumper. You can also initiate this action by setting up a handoff which builds momentum towards the basket. You can also use that curl action to set a backdoor cut if your defender is trailing you and is not able to keep up. Basically, that's what we do right here. Coach cool gets a wide open lane to the basket. So after the strong side curl, the other action that opens up right here is a down screen set by the wingman towards the corner man, Tony Kukoc right there. As you can see here, Scotty sets a screen for Kukoc and he's wide open for a 3. Now if your defender switch that screen, which you will see right here, watch Scotty and MJ, Byron Wessel will basically get caught in the screen but Jeff Hornacek will switch to Scotty, attack that closeout and head towards the basket. So another interesting counter that's not in the play art is basically after MJ goes out of that down screen, you can initiate a handoff for a wide open jumper out of that curl. So if the defenders deny that pinch post, what actually happens on the weak side is that Pippen will set a down screen for MJ in the corner and that opens up a wide open jump shot. Again, another improvised action out of this is after you pass to the middle, look at the left side of the floor. It's completely wide open for pick and roll action and basically if we have a 2 and 3 pick and roll, that's money. So here if you don't want Dennis Rodman creating out of the pinch post, after Scotty gets the ball, basically ask for a screen and head towards the basket. So there are times where the weak side low man will not go to the pinch post but extend towards the 3 point wing and this sets up a dive cut from the opposite side wing player. So here after MJ reverses to Ron Harper and then instead of going to the pinch post, Rodman goes to the left side wing. Luke Longley sets a screen for MJ and that opens up a wide open dunk at the basket. Now if the dive cutter's man is able to stick to him and basically not get lost in that dive cut, this will transition into a low post option as you can see right here. We abuse John Stockton in the paint and the help is too late. Now since defenders usually fear that position out of MJ, you should always be aware of spacing and your options out of that low post double team. As you can see here, after that double team, Byron Russell and Karl Malone double MJ, MJ passes to Pippen and then Luke Longley dives to the basket. So the next movement out of this series is if that low post action is well defended, Pippen and Rodman here will set a floppy screen for MJ out of that corner baseline and then basically you can attack however the defense is playing you. So that's it, that's part one of our triangle freelance. Before we get to the last dance, let's do our homework in order to recreate MJ in the game. I have a feeling that defense will be much harder in NBA 2K23, so knowing the triangle freelance will open up a lot of options for you. Now part two will feature the last two basic options out of the triangle, the corner series and the flash middle options, and also I'll show you a few tips on how to really improvise out of those actions. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, I'd appreciate a sub, thumbs up if this was very helpful, and let me know in the comments section below if you're excited for NBA 2K23.